It's time! Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just then. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape his very, very dangerous position. Oh, nice combination of strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. I don't like Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Oh, back the that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch, as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go to the mat. He goes, and this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing super foul. The guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel right next to him. And he's out. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Robert Whitten. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Uh, the triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen. He's doing absolutely awesome. Watch the... So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you stop with me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Beautiful punch. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground.
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Side control now, DC, a lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch, as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go to the mat. He goes, oh, he might have got him with a choke. grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ i mean you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard he's so skilled he's so tricky and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 40 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to arm triangle choke. Hobbs and Boris Kippen!